Alright, so what's up guys? Uh, welcome to another PFC Plays, where as you can see, this time, we're doing Mega Man 5. We're going, we're keeping it with the old school fashion. Uh, today, uh, I'm MLP Fatty, I'm joined with Swift Briss. In the flesh. And this time, we got King Theo with us, the now, I believe, seventh year memologist. Sixth year, my dude. Oh, Sixth, and I do yeah. toy reviews. And they're pretty awesome, too. Hell yeah. Like I'm, not, I'm, not your, I'm not your usual go to the toy store, buy your shit. I, I mean to the fucking extreme with mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, 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 we gotta put a fucking link in the description to some of your videos. All right, bro. Because, like, legit, like, you are, like, a good reviewer. Like, I gotta say, you got some talent. Oh, yeah, and I got a lot more toys I want to review. Oh, yeah, I mean, Theo Theo is definitely really fucking cool. So, without any further ado, though, let's, uh, let's get into it. So, are you, uh, you guys, uh, played Mega Man before, obviously, right? Yep. Yeah. Most Jeff, dude, it's one of my favorite, uh, gaming franchises. I have some Mega Man toys. I used to watch the cartoon like way back in the day, and uh, the Mega Man X series on SNES is like, those were some of the first games I ever played in my entire life. Like, I remember being four years old and playing uh, Mega Man 2 or around the time it first came out. And uh, never beat it because I was four and I was retarded, because most four year olds are retarded. But, um, but yeah, like this, I have a huge history with this game, and uh, I plan on doing a let's play of this for the channel too. Uh, not this game, but um, another game in the franchise. Yeah, my history with Mega Man isn't quite as. Uh, it's, it's not really quite as. Uh, how do you say like? You know, it, I, yeah, like I'm not. It's not nostalgic to me, but I did get into it like maybe around like 2013. Those, so I was like really late. But I read the uh, Archie comics. Ooh, yeah, got the end. Out the time. And those were pretty fucking good. Stories are awesome. Everything about Mega Man is fucking amazing. Like even the games that like most of the most of the most of the people who are a fan of the series are like kind of on the fence about, like Mega Man Legends, for example. Like even Mega Man Legends is like dope as fuck. Like as 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 fucking borky and like stupid as that game is, and like how it. Like, it completely just goes off the rails in terms of, like, the narrative and the gameplay. But, like, it's still a classic fucking game. Like, nobody can deny that Mega Man Legends is a classic game. Oh, yeah, hell no, dude. Mega Man, Mega Man, to me, so it's it was, like, one of the first games that I actually really played besides, like, Mario and shit like that. So it, it's just always been, like, a part of what I love about video games. And, uh, one, one of the things that, like, I don't know, just, like, for me personally, like, I'm a huge fan of, like, robots with, like, the Pinocchio complex, so, like, um, so, like, Mega Man is, like, he, like, he's a, he's a super fighting robot, Mega Man, and, uh, like, uh, a lot of this, uh, based on, like, uh, like, the franchise and the games and, like, the, the TV show and, and whatever, it really reminds me of this, um, this one, uh, like, uh, this one guy used to, uh, make anime and manga, way back in the 70s. His name is uh, Shotaro Ishinomori. Uh, he's the guy who came up with um, with the, uh, it was one of the first, like, super legit tokusatsu series. Uh, it's called uh, Jinzo, uh, please, Jinzo Ningen Kakaida, which had a, uh, an anime that was on um, Adult Swim way back in the day. Um, and, like, I don't know, just, like, like humanized robots in general and like the potential ways that you can go like the avenues of like uh, pathos and character development you can go in with them like like oh I'm a robot but I I want to feel things like I want to be uh, like emotional like uh, like uh, if I'm not mistaken like they did dabble with that in the Mega Man franchise for uh, some of like the the comic books and the anime too uh, oh, yeah. and that's a super huge did. appeal aspect for me. By the, way, that was, uh, by the way, that was Starman. He uh, he totally just got absolutely ass wrecked. Ha! Huh. So I don't know why, but I like to. I always like to start him off when like I play, and I just I just love like that whole like space themed level aspect. 
which I know we, I didn't really talk about much while I was in the fucking level, but now I got Star Crash and Super Arrow. Super Arrow, one of my favorite parts of this game, is you could just use it to completely and utterly fuck around with it. Me and Fatty were talking about Mega Man 4 earlier, and how shit of a game it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, besides, like, you know, it trying to follow the basic aspect of the whole Mega Man franchise, I don't think it really captured it in such a great way that it could It, have. it was trying to do... It, 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 the thing about it is, like, it was the first game that had the, the Mega Buster in it, right? So before, you had P, right? And, um... It was trying to do something different, um, and like I totally applaud it and respect it for that. It's just that like, like the bosses and the patterns were like very uninspired. Like Toad Man is like the first, like he's the the first level you do in the game. Like the I mean that I do is Toad Man, and like literally he cannot hurt you. I mean yeah, that's like, just because of the fact that Toad Man is literally a wimp when it comes to being a boss. It's like. His rain power doesn't hurt you when you shoot him, he literally just jumps up into the air and does more rain where you could just shoot him again, and it's like... Ah. Exactly. Like, He's just so simplistic. And, and just and just to not sound like a fucking hypocrite, because I was like applauding the series, like, I don't think Mega Man 4 is a bad game, I just think it's a bad game for the franchise, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah. Like, I, it didn't... I, I don't want to be like that guy like, oh, it didn't meet my expectations, but I mean, like... Don't get me wrong, level design and like, all that shit on Mega Man 4, bravo, like, oh, I, exactly. I still fucking love that about Mega Man 4. Just some of the bosses seem lackluster, and even like, endgame, like, when you're going to fucking save Dr. White, it was just like... Like, you, you that, knew the that's second castle was That's the one with Dr. Cossack, isn't it? Like, the, uh, the Russian guy? Uh, is it? Yeah, that's the one with Dr. Cossack. Yeah, um, it, it it was like it was an interesting turn for the uh, for the series in a lot of ways because it played with the formula in a manner that like had not been done before. Because uh, it gave you because like Dr. Cossack was like uh, it was it was the first time where it was like oh like uh, Dr. Wily is not the is you know he's like he's not the fucking villain in this game, but it turns out Dr. Cossack is you know like he's not really a villain. He's just like. You know, he was he was being played. He was fucking played by Doctor Wily. So you know, um, Yo, like Doctor Cossack, uh, they did him great in the Archie comics because they established who he was. Like during, I think it was like either right before or right after the Mega Man Two adaption. You know, and they had like Pharaoh Man and a few other future ro robot masters doing what they were doing before their games. Yeah, well, Pharaoh like, Man, he was, he, was, he was actually one of like my favorite robot masters for a while. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Pharaoh Man's like dope as fuck. Yeah, Fer Pharaoh Man was even like kind of a bro in the uh, Archie comics. <laughs> and he had a fucking terrific scene in the anime, too. Like, he has, a, he has a scene in the anime where he's beating the fuck out of Mega Man. By the way, I just kicked the shit out of Gravity Man. That fight. It's another, uh, it's another one of those super simple fights in the whole Mega Man series. It's basically, you know, he switches gravity on you as you're switching between up and down, and he's going between down and up, you just shoot him. And it's like, he doesn't really hurt you that much unless you really walk into him. Those fucking strats, man. By the way, Fatty, I don't want to ruin the magic or anything. You got your fucking timer on? I, I do have my timer on, fam. So we are, right. we are good. All right, that's that's good to know. Oh, by the way, awesome. another another little fun fact here. I am uh, I'm not speedrunning this game, by the way. I know um, I know I speedran Mario three. Well, kind of speedran it. He's not speedrunning. He's just that fucking good. I, he has not died once. I'm just barely taking any damage. I mean, I don't know. It's just like I'm I'm always always good at platformers. I guess I don't know. I suck at video games, man. Like I was always the guy who like went over to his friends' houses and like whenever everybody was playing video games there were like co-op, well not co-op, but just like multiplayer. I would just be like the guy sitting in the fucking corner just like watching everybody else play. When it comes to uh, playing video games with friends and stuff, thing is I almost never win. Uh, I'm, I'm always either like uh, third or like fourth place or whatever. <laughs> but uh, thing is I always fucking win with board games. Like I have never, I have never been defeated by my friends at board games. I will kick your ass in Monopoly. Yo, in Monopoly, uh, what happened was, 
that was like the moment where I realized it was, but they knew the entire time. Because they, they didn't want to play Monopoly with me, because they knew I'd win. So I ended up making a bunch of really, you know, good deals and stuff. Uh, and then, eventually, what happened was, uh, I bankrupted one person, and then, uh, <clears throat> then, since one of them tried selling me his, uh, wanted me to buy a couple of his stuff so we still had money, and I was just like, alright. And then, uh, I ended up fucking over oh, another shit. of those. <laughs> yeah, I got my first death. Man, what of it? Fatty. You're doing so good too. But uh, anyway, I was actually planning on taking a uh, an intentional death up here too to grab the letter. But I guess uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should now. Yeah. But anyway, bro. Oh god. Ba basically, the ba basically the banker kept on giving people money just so they could beat me, but I ended up winning. Yeah, see, when it comes to me in board games, like Monopoly, like, I'll get, like, really mad, like, when somebody starts, like, really beating me bad and shit, and, I don't know, I'm not really, uh, adept when it comes to board games like I am when it comes to, like, a platformer or something. How do you guys feel about house rules when it comes to Monopoly? I hate them, actually, because dude, my I mother... I fucking love house rules, No, nah, dude, my, my mother... House rules she make comes the up shit the interesting, though. Yeah, but she comes up with the stupid... Oh, fuck. <laughs> she comes up with the stupidest fucking rules, and, like... It being, like, when you land on, like, the, like, the free parking shit. It's like, you land on free parking, and it's like, oh, you get, um... You get all the money get in the middle. You money, yeah. Yeah, I'm just you, like... You get, all the, you get all the fucking money that you get from, um... When you have to put in uh, community chests, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I kind of like that rule a little bit because it extends the game, like it makes the game longer. And that's only because I enjoy playing Monopoly. Like most people are just like, oh man, just like fucking just get it over with, like fuck you. And I'm just like, I I I like to play Monopoly. I will play Monopoly for hours on end. Like I'm yeah. that guy. Yeah. That face when I casually game over. Yo, I got my little pony monopoly. Should we play that at Babs? Yeah, let's oh, do dude, it. Oh, dude, yeah, totally bring it. Yeah, we'll play I don't it. think I've even, I don't think I've even opened it either. Dude, no? we can live stream it. It'd be fun. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be our PFC plays at uh at BabsCon. That could be yeah. one of our PFC plays at BabsCon. I want to record so much content at BabsCon. I want it to be a fucking content extravaganza. Like that's just me. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I don't know, man, because there's going to be a lot of people that, like, personally that I know there that are going to be, uh, that, that's going to BabsCon, so, like, I don't know, I might just be chilling a lot with, like, a whole bunch of people. Yeah, I mean, well, there will be plenty of time, because we're going to be there from, like, Thursday, uh, for me, I'm going to be there from Thursday to Monday, so Wait, it's dude, like... on, on Thursday, it's going to be a really great day to do that shit, because that's, like... No, I, I'm, uh, I'm there Thursday to Monday as well. Alright. I think most yeah, of us I'm, are going to be there Thursday to Monday, now that I think about it. I think I'm literally leaving uh, Thursday, like, at 12 p- uh, not Thursday, I'm, I'm leaving, like, um, Monday, like, 12 p.m., so... I think I got a late flight on Monday, I don't think I'm leaving until- oh shit, I don't think I'm leaving God, until, it, like, Daddy, 4. Shit. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna be leaving at, like, 8 or 9.30 in the morning on Monday. Oh damn, really? Fuck yeah. hell, dude, good luck waking up. Yeah, the th thing is, uh, that that's just what I saw. It's not actually set in stone yet, because I haven't got the ticket. Oh. Okay. However, there are still seats available and stuff. I mean, you should still be able to get the fuck. Oh, I mean, for the for the bus, right? Uh, not not for the bus. I decided not to take a bus, just to take a plane instead. Really? GG. Yeah. Now. Because the plane ride's only an hour, uh, but the the bus trip would be five hours. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I mean five I hours on a local bus. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, let's let's be real here. Like, being on a plane is like pretty much being like on a bus, so it doesn't even matter. Man, fucking hell! Now I'm having. Especially trouble. if you're on like a small jet, like the ones that leave from my local airport. Fatty, I swear to God, you're giving me fucking autism over here. <laughs> hey man, I mean, I, I know you watch me play Mario Three was really tight, but uh, I'm not the same when it comes to Mega Man. 
especially on Gyroman's level, dude. This this fucking level, yo. It you gotta be pixel perfect. It fucks me up in the wrong type of way. Welcome to a PFC long plays. Hey man, like I said, I ain't speedrunning this shit. Yeah. No. I ain't trying to be an asshole, but I am being an asshole, so there you go. I mean, it's all good, man. You're allowed to uh, asshole me up as much as you want. Why don't you get that fucking extra guy? Nah, don't eat it. It's a waste of time. <laughs> well, it, it's a waste of time, but you're not speedrunning it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, totally, my dude. Like, oh, it's a waste of time. Like, oh, but I'm not speedrunning it. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Yeah. Man, speaking of sucking dick, I mean, uh, like, this, uh, speaking of sucking dick, Babscon will be my uh, second time going to San Francisco this year. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you're going to San Francisco uh, actually tonight, right? Yeah, I'm going to San Francisco. Gonna go to the Nintendo Switch event uh, with uh, some friends of mine. Uh, so you pre-ordered and everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I have it completely pre-ordered. I have like five games completely paid off. Like I, I'm pretty much set. All I gotta do is go up there, and I even uh, collected my uh, Wolf Link amiibo that goes with Breath of the Wild. You know, oh, so nice. I can have like Wolf, so I can have Wolf Link as like a partner. Dude, that I have that no idea what any cool. of that stuff is, because I have not kept up with gaming since 2005. <laughs> Tw Twilight Princess was was before 2005, right? Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, it was. No, Twilight Princess was totally before 2005. I don't think it was. <laughs> yeah, Twi Twilight Princess, like, you know, just Link, uh, turn into a wolf and stuff. That just reminds me of Okami. Hey guys, I can't look, be I the only nigga boss. who remembers Okami. I don't remember Okami. Man, now I feel old. Guys, look, I'm wrecking Gyroman. Without Yay! even touching him. I fucking love and that. And the way know. that I play these games, especially Mega Man 2 and 3, is for the most part, I don't even use the weaknesses. I just use P. So, uh, I don't know if this determines how good I am at Mega Man, but uh, the thing was, I heard the I Can't Defeat Air Man song before I played Mega Man 2. So I, was just, so I get Mega Man 2, I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna go hard mode, because that's what that song is about, I'm gonna fight Air Man. And the thing is, uh, I chose him first, and I took him out without get, taking any damage. Yeah, like, you can, you can, uh, Air Man is not hard, like, yeah. Air Man is the one that I always do first. Dude, he always um, fucks me up, personally. Dude, like, Air Man is not even hard, like, even if you take damage from him, because you can literally just wail on him, that motherfucker. Because you can get right next to him, like, after he shoots his, like, uh, his air tornadoes at you. Like, you can get right next to him and just wail the fuck out of him. And just beat him, like, in an instant, so... It doesn't even matter if you take damage at that part. Dude, I hate this part, though. The fucking crystal Yeah, this, shit. this reminds me of fucking, um... Fuck! Uh, what is oh. it? <laughs> what is it? Uh, is it Shadow Man stage or is it um, Gemini Man? It's Gemini Man stage from uh, uh, three, right? Oh uh, yeah. Oh my God. Fuck that. Dude, Gemini Man stage is like the worst part of fucking Mega Man Three. Like I hate that level so much. It's not. It's it's literally one of the few annoying things that I remember about playing Mega Man is like Gemini Man stage. Like there's nothing about it that is even remotely redeeming. Like, it's not fun to play, it's just retarded bullshit, just fucking busy is all it is. All extra life, all right. You, uh, no, fuck that, you should have just gone back down and waited for an E-can. Nah, I don't need no E-tanks, yo. I need, I need lives. <laughs> we want this to be a reasonable let's play, I need lives. I always go for those fucking E-cans because as far as I remember, like, you don't lose your E-cans when you go game over, right? Um... That's, that's only for Mega Man 2, right? I don't remember in this one, actually. I think... I know for Mega Man... I know for Mega Man 3, like, you don't lose your E-cans if you go game over, but I think for Mega Man 2, you do. Oh man, there's another extra life there. Fucking word.
Alright, it should be pretty good now. Oh man, is he gonna do it? Hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm fatty. I, I do everything, yo. I ain't, He's I ain't, fatty! I ain't a lazy fuck. What are you talking about? I always loved, like, the level design of uh, fucking Mega Man. Like, it always puts me in a place to, to think to myself, like, like, where is this guy? Like, what... What environment is he in? <laughs> what like, troubles have, like, have you gone through? Yeah. So one thing I will do, because I know it's up here. I know there's an M tank up here. Man, they really changed Rush Pro up. Hell yeah, they did. In Mega Man 3, all you do is you jump on top of him and it makes you jump higher. Alright, so now here comes the weird part, because I know- Fuck! Yeah, that's like, um... That's like in Flashman stage. Yeah, no, but I know there's a letter there, which is why, uh, which is why I kind of like. Hug Actually, Quickman, Quickman, fuck that shit. Yeah, it was Quickman that I'm thinking of. To where, like, you have to avoid the the pillars of energy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember that shit now. Fuck. Dude, I can fucking dude, I can straight up do that shit without using Flashman's power. I'm not even joking. And I'm willing to put. I am willing to put up. Got it. Alright, so I got I got the five in Mega Man. Oh man, fuck these little things. I hate these little like little disc things. Who is texting me? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Alright, so I don't know if I have the right power for this, because I don't know if Gyro Man's power was actually the weakness to Crystal Man. I don't think it is. Fatty, I'm pretty sure we're over 15 minutes, by the way. Oh no, I know, this is last boss here. Let's see if I can beat Crystal Man. Crystal yeah, Man. this is gonna be the end of the episode. If you beat Crystal Man. Yeah, Crystal Man is a rough one. Oh, yeah, beat that Crystal Man even though he looks more yeah. like pearls. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah, man. That's Crystal Man in the bag right there. Give me that sweet, sweet energy. So, uh, so yeah, this is definitely a good stopping point, Next time though. on PFC Plays, Fatty's a fucking cuck lord, and he can suck my dick. <laughs> and I... And I whack my dick. So, yeah, so, uh, so next time on, uh, PFC Plays, we take on the next four bosses of Mega Man 5. We still got Stone Man, Charge Man, Napalm Man, and Wave Man. If you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Show us your appreciation. If you want us or to don't. play, <laughs> if you want us to play Shut any up, other man. games, about the leave them in the comments below. Fuck you, Briss. You could suck my dick. And uh, we will see you all next time. Later, guys. Yay.